Hi there. Today I'm going to show a few tips and tricks that I use when I'm solving word search uh, puzzles. And I've got a grid of uh, 15 by 15 letters. And over here on the right hand side I've got uh, 22 words that I need to find. Uh, in this uh, in this grid to solve this uh, word search and uh, this word search it's all got uh, football that's a football word search with uh, football um, terms um, football as in soccer okay so I've got some tips down here that I will go through one by one and the first tip is to find all the easy words and the second tip is actually to use a ruler, which is um, good for finding the easy words. And what I like to do is just put it on um, each line. That sort of helps you concentrate on each line as you go down and look for any words that um, might match. And don't worry at this stage about the word, trying to find words from the list in your puzzle. Just going through, find all the easy words first. And penalty, and I know that penalty is there. So I'll get my uh, highlighter. And I'll highlight penalty there and penalty over the other side because I've matched it. And I'll just keep going down through the uh, list looking for any, um, there's rake there, but I don't think rake is in that, uh, no, it rakes there. Uh, any, any other words that uh, match in the uh, horizontal. Now, um, uh, there's uh, teams. Oh, there we go, there's teams here. And highlight teams. There, that I've matched it and obviously yeah, in word searches the words are going to go they don't look just looking on the horizontal but they'll also go uh, vertically and diagonally and they also can be backwards because I can just see a word there which is handball so I'll highlight handball there and highlight it over there um, oh there's an easy one football highlight that and I should have really checked over here first but yes football is there and there's a couple of these there together, and that's, uh, oh, there we go, that's a uh, sweeper. So I'll highlight sweeper there in the bottom row, and unfortunately a bit of the ink on the letters is coming off there. So that's, uh, that's a good way to find, there we go, we found uh, five words straight up, uh, really quickly, by just going through row by row. And now the next thing to do is have a sort of a look um, horizontally, and also diagonally, and you can spin your page around like that if you like sometimes, and... Um, there we go, we've got, I uh, can see a whistle there going down the page. So I'll highlight uh, whistle. And whistle over there. And sometimes I like to use different coloured highlighters as well because it, after you finish the puzzle it's easier to see um, the words that you've uh, highlighted if you're using different, um, different uh, colours. Oh, there we go, there's uh, fullback. And see the words a lot easier and then you're obviously using that color to highlight the words over there as you match them and going there there's b-i-l-t there um oh, okay there we go manager going backwards there and i probably should have checked it but i knew that was their manager um no mm can't see anything there. Obviously there could be words there that I'm missing as I go along. But uh, I won't take there's uh, those E's a bit of a giveaway. There we go. It's a uh, keeper. And the word, oh there we go, goalkeeper. So it's actually starting a little bit earlier. And it's goal. Oh wait, I've highlighted one letter too much. There, but it doesn't matter. I've highlighted up there one letter, but that's okay. And kick. Oh okay, just, there's just a word called kick. And what else is there? I think that's uh, that might be about it. And then also uh, uh, the diagonal words are they're often a little bit harder to find, but I find with the ruler they can be easier to um, to run that uh, along along the page, and you can find words uh, a lot easier then. And it's often good to start one corner to the next and either work down that way or work across. You know, moving across one letter at a time, and see if anything matches. And there we go. Uh, Midfielders. So I highlight uh, midfielders in a nice purple. And hopefully, yeah, midfielder is over there and uh, on the page. So I'll match that up. So there we go. That's uh, 
that, that sort of finds a lot of your uh, common words and obviously I'd keep moving along. Oh, I think there's, uh, there's offside, so I'll give offside a, a highlight, offside. And once you're on that diagonal, I often find when you're working on the diagonal that you find one word and then you go to the next diagonal and you find another word and then you'll go to the next diagonal. Oh, there we go, I found another word, there we go, that's uh, forwards. And forwards is there, yep. And forwards is there. Okay, so that's sort of, you know, they, they sort of have one on the diagonal and then just as you go across you just keep finding more and more words. Oh, okay, there's another one there that is going upwards there. Is left back. And, um, yeah, okay. So there we go. So we found a lot of all the common words yet, and I've probably found about half, half of those words so far, and done that in just a few minutes. Um, another one to, yeah, I've told you that words can be spelt backwards. Um, look for common groupings of letters. So, um, a T E A R E I N G Asian to see if there's any of those. Check obviously if there's any of those uh, um, there in your word list and see if you can find any of those sort of groupings on the page. And what we've actually got here, which is interesting, we've got uh, back, we've got right back, we've got left back, and we've got full back. So if you obviously if, you, if I hadn't found left back and full back, then you might be looking for back because back is repeated three times. And now we're just looking for right back. So you'd be looking there through there for another back. And hopefully there's right next to it too. To, uh, to find that word. And then once you've... Um, once you sort of get to this sort of point, then um, you're sort of looking through individually for uh, for words. And it's probably the better way to go. And we'll search the word list for any uncommon letters. And, that, and that's probably going to be the... Uh, What's sort of an uncommon letter? There's a Y in players. Is this K C K in right back? Okay, so uh, so look for the uncommon letter. So what I'll probably do now is look see a C and a K together to see if I can find right back. So what I'd like to do is uh, I'll look for the K and then see if I've got, I can find one with a C next to it. So I'll just go through the list there until I find a K and I've already there's a K and there's a C next to that one, but that's already been marked. So keep going on till I find the next row by row to find the next K and there's a K and there's a C, but that's not large enough. Just sort of go around in those eight letters that adjoin the K and see if I can find a, um, a, a C next to it. And there's a K there and there's a C and there's a back and there's a, oh, there we go. There's the right back there. So I'll put my uh, ruler on it and then I'll highlight through the right back and we have the ruler there one of the great things about the ruler is you can is you can uh, you know it keeps your uh, a nice straight line then when you rule up against it with your uh, highlighter I oh, know you better not highlight that uh, right back as uh, well and yep yep use different colored highlighters yeah I like the different color highlighters because you can sort of see at the end you know the words rather than if they're all in one color then it all sort of sort of goes into one and it's a bit hard to see where the words are um, and then another another good idea is to have a look at areas where you haven't matched any words to begin with. So and maybe around here, there's nothing there. There's probably going to be a word in there somewhere. So if we have a sort of a bit of a look through there. And oh, there we go. So there's one there. There's soccer. S O C C E R. Going that way. Going backwards. So there we go. So soccer. We've matched that one and. Okay, and then the uh, the last tip then is to look for parallel words on the grid, and this often works best on the diagonal. So if you go across there, we've got uh, left back, midfielders, offside, forwards, and oh, there we go. There's coach, C O A C H, is a coach, and I'll mark that off there, like that. And um, yeah, I think that's uh, that's about it. I found. Uh, Obviously, the you know the, the first words are a lot easier to find, and when you've got to find those last uh, five words, you can spend almost as much time again looking for those uh, those last words. But there we go. That's um, a few tips and tricks that uh, I use to uh, help me solve word search puzzles. So I'm going to stop the video now, uh, but I'll continue on and uh, find those remaining five words. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, and goodbye for now. Okay, so I've made a little epilogue to my video and 
and just to show that I did find those five uh, five final words. So uh, corner and corners going up there. Uh, header header heads up uh, that way. League league is over there like that. And players is there. And premiers is down there like that. And when you think about it. I should have really put my um, ruler here on the diagonal this way and I would have actually probably quite easily found players, header and premiers. But anyway, I just thought I'd let you know that I did find those uh, final five words. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.